Hello all, welcome to Ferdinand Tutorials. How are you doing? I hope you're doing well. So we're glad to have you back here again. So we've prepared a very interesting video for you all to watch, especially our undergraduates in this platform. So try and watch this video. You're going to love this video. This is not just like every other video you've been watching on YouTube. This particular one took a lot of time to prepare and it contains a lot of information you need to continue going as an undergraduate. So if you're new to this channel, please, I want you to do something for us. Click the subscribe button. That's one of the ways to support us. And if you love this video, give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend it for other people to watch too. If you have a particular question about this video, comment the question below. And you want to help your friends out there who is an undergraduate too, do well to share the videos to them and they'll be glad to watch this video. Thank you. Now today I want to talk about five major apps undergraduates should get themselves conversant with. Now, this is not from any source. This is just from my experience. I told you earlier, I'm a final year. If you've been following us here, I'm my final year. That's final year biochemistry students, undergraduate to be precise. And um, I have been on this media for quite a long time now. So, and uh, I'm going to be sharing my experience. That is the top five apps I think undergraduates should get themselves conversant with. And you will love it. So, one of these apps is what I call LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a very professional app. I want you to know that. And before now, Individuals who open an account on LinkedIn only go there for one reason. Now, to look for a job or to employ someone. That is to say, job seekers can go there maybe to look for someone to maybe employ them to be a freelancer, web designer, graphic designer, copywriter, and all that. All the skills that you can think of that, you know, that can be virtually, you can be there and I'll be here and I'll be giving you the service. That's majorly what people do on LinkedIn. But in recent times, we've seen more than that. That is to say that we've seen students We've seen professors, we've seen graduate students, even undergraduates, set up an account on LinkedIn. Why? Now, because they want to connect with their perspectives. Are you getting it? That is to say that a professor can see what you are doing as an undergraduate and try to say, okay, let me work with you. Either two of you publish an article, either you guys involved in a research work, or he call you over to his state to say, okay, come and study here on a scholarship. I will pay for your tuition, I'll pay for your school fees, I'll pay for everything that concerns you, just come because I want to work with you. That's one of the advantages you can see on LinkedIn. Apart from the connection, let's say connecting with some of the master students out there, connecting with the PhD students out there, learn from them, learn from their world of experiences. I'm talking of those that want to focus in the academia. Apart from that too, as an undergraduate, you don't want to focus in the academic uh, you know, area. You can also see people who are doing well in the other industry, especially entrepreneurship. Are you getting it? So it's a very big place. I started my I opened an account on LinkedIn 2022. And from then till now, it has been blessings upon blessings. I've met several people, I've built a lot of connections. Are you getting it? In fact, my study abroad dream was as a result of my opening account on LinkedIn. Are you getting it? Because I see people doing well. I see people, you know, making a lot of impact there. So I feel like okay, I also have a place here. So LinkedIn is a very serious app for serious people. No matter what you want to focus on, in as much as you want to achieve a purpose, LinkedIn is the number one app for you. Now the second of them is a Gmail app. Now for those of you who might think that it's okay to do anyhow in as much as you have a WhatsApp, no, I'm not removing the importance of other social media apps. Remember I told you five major apps that I think from my experiences that you should have or you should be operating you understand in as an undergraduate whatsapp is a very good app facebook are good apps twitter tiktok in fact they are good apps had even an ext i extended the option to 10 probably some of them would have come in but i'm saying five and i've mentioned linkedin as the number one now number two here is a, a, a gmail app gmail app in the sense that you open a gmail account you send a receive message it, as simple as it does if you don't have a gmail app you cannot actually go far as an undergraduate so if you are here you don't have a gmail account you don't have like a, a, a gmail account when someone is asking what's your email address or gmail address you say you don't have or some of you that already have you are answering funny names please it's time for you to change it you know you begin to hear someone answering sexy doof at gmail.com cross and die at gmail.com 9190 you do this i kill you at no answer real names my name is ugochuku kingsley and my gmail account is ugochuku kingsley 2000 at gmail.com that is to say i combine my full name and the year of birth i was born on september 7 2000 so i combine everything together and then i produce it out there 
So that is all you have to do. Create an account, a reasonable account, so that if you want to work with a reasonable person, a CEO of a particular business, an entrepreneur, a professor, a doctor, a lecturer, no matter where they are from, in as much as you send your email address to them, they'll be like, oh, the first thing they'll look at is your address. And in as much as it's good, it's, uh, you know, relates, fine. They can work together with you. Now, the next thing I want you to understand, the number three app there is YouTube. YouTube is very important. In fact, it's a lot of YouTube that you're watching this video. So as an undergraduate, I want you to also leverage on YouTube. If you can't create videos on YouTube, it's perfectly fine. Then you have to watch videos on YouTube. Learn from people on YouTube. So many things that your lecturer is not teaching you, they are all on YouTube. There are a lot of professors that are teaching on YouTube. There are a lot of doctors that are teaching on YouTube. There are a lot of individuals who are sharing their experience, just as I'm doing now on YouTube. So you want to do well, you want to, you know, scale through in your undergraduate journey, I will urge you to have a YouTube account and then explore the opportunities there. If you think that data is costly for those of us here in Nigeria, you can do midnight subscription. It can be better for you. Watch videos, not just movie, but educational videos. People talking about your area of study. People that have gone where you want to be. You learn from what they're saying. You learn from what they have already seen. That is that. Now, the next app here is Google Calendar. Now, as an undergraduate, there is need for you to have a reminder. Are you getting it? Google Calendar, Google Reminder is very, very important. You know, we have, as I told you, I have a lot of things I'm doing, like my head is filled up. You know, especially when you have potential, there are a lot of people that, have, that will be coming to, you know, get your attention. So one of the ways to keep yourself in check is you having something like a reminder. Are you getting it? So Google Reminder helps you to know when you have lectures. Google Reminder helps you to know when to watch videos on YouTube. Google Reminder helps you to, you know, keep that appointment with a professor, with a lecturer, with anybody, wherever they are. Google Reminder or Google Calendar helps you, you know, to regulate your activities and not miss anyone or make any mistake about each and any one of them. So the next one there is CV Maker or CV Maker app. It's very, very important as an undergraduate, you need to start building your CV. You mustn't wait till you graduate in each level of your journey here. You must be able to build your CV. CV is all about curriculum vitae, right? Your experiences, you know, your achievement. What have you achieved in the course of your study? Are you getting, have you volunteered for organization? Have you acquired a leadership position? Have you done something for the society? Add it there. That's what it comprises of. So as you go in your journey, you build your CV. As you go, you build your CV. It will help you and it will make this journey smoother and enjoyable. So from my experience, these are my five best apps I can recommend that you use as an undergraduate that will make your journey smoothly notwithstanding there are other important apps too out there maybe i didn't mention them it doesn't mean that i don't value them maybe i don't remember them or maybe i've not used them before so thank you everyone for watching this video i wish you all the best in this journey and i want us to meet at the top thank you guys for watching this video it means a lot to me and my team thank you for staying to this time do well to share this video if you love the content and if you think other people need to benefit from it do where to invite them to this channel and if you've not subscribed as i always say subscribe and see you again in my next video thank you